What's up everybody, Dread right back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about Ready or Not because they just released a newsletter just a few moments ago. So we're gonna go through it here, see what it says. This is once again brought to us by Kaminsky, one of the guys on the community management team. The name of this update is called Ridgeline. And it starts off by saying, Attention officers, welcome to the 35th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. This time around, we'll be showing off the first ever in-depth look at Ridgeline, a cabin in the woods that will be a challenge to tackle and is filled with immense detail. Sounds interesting. Yeah, we've actually been been able to play the Ridgeline map and so far it's just nothing too crazy at least in its current version as of the recording of this video both the Ridgeline map and hospital blockout maps are currently unavailable in both builds the supporter and the standard I believe the developers have said that they took it away so that they can update them which makes sense given this recent newsletter if you'd like to watch the old versions of those maps then I'll put a link to them in the eye icon at the top right and uh, yeah back to the video but I think the most crazy thing about it is what what they actually base the house off of and that is the uh roby ridge house which is just an interesting story basically what it is is like a big fuck up by the government where they go after a guy who is basically like a racist and a cultist but he hasn't actually done anything wrong or the atf the people that went after him could not provide sufficient evidence from what i understand the story goes is that his double barrel shotgun was cut too low or something or too high it just wasn't the correct length or something and they used that to actually actually go in and try to take him out or arrest him but they ended up just killing a bunch of people for no reason also we come to find out that the court papers that they served to him actually had the incorrect dates just a big fuck up from top to bottom he wasn't a good guy but he didn't do anything wrong like the law clearly states that you're allowed to be a racist just so long as you're not actually hurting anybody and as far as i could tell he wasn't actually hurting anybody it's just a complete mess you guys should really check out the story because it really is eye-opening but anyways moving on to the next thing here a broken day Ridgeline pits the Los Sueños Police Department SWAT team against a pair of well-armed suspects in a deadly game of cat and mouse. Be wary, you may outnumber them, but you won't have the element of surprise for long. Approach the cabin surrounded by stoic sentinels and a wall of razor wire. Huh, that's interesting. Are we going to be able to cut razor wire with our little multi-tool? That'd be cool. I'd definitely love to see that. All right, let's move on here. Underneath this is a picture that's obviously the more updated version of Ridgeline. And wow, I can't tell if that's natural natural wood color or if that wood is just rotting but it definitely looks interesting makes me wonder what they're hiding inside underneath the picture it says a safe haven from watchful eyes and listening ears it won't take kindly to intruders yeah if it's anything like the freaking ruby ridge story i'm sure they won't but underneath this is another picture it's a more close-up of the stairs that you can see kind of see it in the previous one you got a fence underneath and i'm sure we can open up and a walkway go around the left side or up the stairs i think there was also like an opening underneath this too that kind of goes into like the basement area if i remember correctly but i can't tell if that's there or not but underneath the picture it says rust covering metal paper covering the windows just wait for the welcome party Ooh, sounds interesting but moving on from that the watch nest the moldering walls of the fortified cabin hide a myriad of dangers and sights caution will be paramount as you carefully make your way through the building to search for suspects your first breach will be just as dangerous as your last be sure to keep your wits about you does that mean that we're gonna have a bunch of traps that's the one thing that I've noticed about Ready or Not is that the traps seem to be almost non-existent. Now when you actually see a trap, it's actually surprising because you haven't seen a trap in like forever. I miss the days when the traps actually used to be almost everywhere because it really kept me on my toes, but now it's kind of just not as prevalent, I guess. But hopefully this actually breaks that mold because I do miss the traps. But anyways, underneath this is another picture and you can definitely see that there's a lot of stuff here. Is that foil behind these freaking clocks here? Like is that supposed to cover up holes in the wall? Or, oh, you know what this is? I think it's like one of those things where it prevents like the satellites from seeing who's inside the house or something like that Or at least I think that's what it's supposed to be But I think that's only for people that uh, think that that works But I'm not entirely sure if that's actually a thing or not So these guys are probably cuckoo cuckoo for cocoa puffs the bottom right right there That kind of looks like are those shadows of the freaking pieces that are on the wall or are those just like little panels that are just laying on the ground I can't tell it's a little odd, but it looks like they have like some sort of board right here That's just kind of like shoved into the wall or maybe it's just like a poster i can't tell maybe they're using it as like some sort of planning board or i don't know but this picture is definitely interesting underneath it it says every corner can hide a gun every doorway a trap so this is definitely going to be one we're going to have to look out for huh but moving on underneath this is another picture and yeah it shows the innards of the house here we've got like a fireplace on the right carpets on the ground a bunch of garbage or trash on the left side right there can't really say for sure what that is but there's a bunch of like newspaper clippings on the 
window to prevent the sun from hitting it. I mean, I know how that feels because I have a window that's actually right behind me, but it doesn't have any blinds. So I just had to tape it up with paper so that it doesn't hit me in the back because it was it was burning me. But yeah, it actually looks like a pretty decent looking cabin, except for the graffiti that's on the wall that's over there. All the way in the back, it says always watching, always listening. And they have the picture of the pyramid that you see on the like $1 bill, which I'm assuming is referring to the Illuminati. These guys are probably not all there. Hey, do you think they're allergic to electricity too? It's called the Eye of Providence. And according to Wikipedia, the Eye of Providence or all say Eye of God is a symbol that depicts an eye often enclosed in a triangle and surrounded by rays of light or glory meant to represent divine providence whereby the Eye of God watches over humanity. A well-known example of the Eye of Providence appears on the reverse of the Great Seal of the United States, which is depicted on the United States $1 bill, which I actually have one right here. I'm sure a lot of other people do too. But I kind of look at this as like how the government is almost always watching, whether you like it or not. Like sure, we have the Fourth Amendment, but it's been pretty much gutted, which for those of you that don't know what the Fourth Amendment is, it's basically you can't do anything without a warrant. And in order to get a warrant, you have to have evidence to pursue someone to prove that there's actual wrongdoing from that specific person. You can't just spy on random people. But like I said, it's been gutted. So a lot of people are obviously afraid to be spied on by their government. Thinking about that type of shit would get anybody paranoid. So I really don't blame them, which is interesting when you think about the parallels between whatever is going on here and what happened at Ruby Ridge because they were being spied on by their government, even though they literally had like no evidence. So in these nut job circles, it's either they're afraid of the government or they're afraid of the Illuminati because apparently that symbol also stands for the Illuminati in their circles. I could go over like the whole craziness with that too, where they believe that somehow celebrities are all in on it and whatnot. But whatever's going on, these people are obviously off the rocker, most likely. And so that probably means that these guys are, I don't even know what the right, what do you call them? Like people that probably believe in flat earth and shit, those type of people. Uh, that's interesting nonetheless. And that seems to be it. Moving on to the conclusion that says, this concludes our 35 bi-weekly briefing showcasing Ridgeline and discussing some of the challenges the player will face there for the first time. And that pretty much does it. Oh, wait a minute. It says, however, we have one more treat in store for all of our supporters. We will be hosting a live AMA on the Discord. First, a less interactive AMA will be provided to the non-supporter Discord. Then sometime after, Void developers will be live questions from supporters. Okay, cool. Keep an eye out in this channel for the announcement of the AMA. Okay, cool. I'll probably be streaming that. Maybe Maybe, I don't know, if this video gets like, I don't know, 100 likes, I guess I'll stream it because I don't feel like recording it, but you let me know. So that's pretty much it for this newsletter. Nothing too crazy, it's just talking about the uh, Ridgeline map, which at the moment is kind of like pretty meh. Looking at these pictures, it definitely makes it look a lot better than how it is now. So that's kind of cool. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know what you think down below because I'm going to get the hell up out of here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, then be sure to like the video, share the video, comment down below. If you would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or hop on the join button that's underneath the video. Any donation helps, keeps the channel growing. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Ready or Not or any other game that I decide to cover. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.